Hello, hello, everyone. <sighs> hello, hello. I think that's trademark Adam Gibbs. Well, and at any rate, <laughs> hi, uh, everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's been it's been a really long time. Uh, I think the kids used to say it's been a minute. I don't know if they say that anymore, but it's it's been a lot of minutes. It's been over a year since I've done a video, and. One of my New Year's resolutions was to make more. And so here I am on January 1st. And where I am is Ecola State Park out on the Oregon coast. This is one of the iconic viewpoints of the Oregon coast. I have to cough. Pardon me. Hold on. All right. This is one of the iconic views. It is, we are just north of Cannon Beach. And uh, it's got this wide sweeping view of the, the coastline, some sea stacks. You can see Cannon Beach. Or you can see the lights of Cannon Beach sometimes. Um, very, very famous shot. I was here in the summer when I was trying to escape the wildfire smoke in the Willamette Valley. I just wanted to, literally, I wanted a breath of fresh air. And so I came to the coast. I came to this viewpoint. And when you know it, it was full of smoke here too as well. Uh, that trip was also kind of a disaster. It was kind of last minute. I lit, I forgot my tripod and I was I ended up being two hours later than I was expecting, but barely here in time to catch sunset, uh, such as it was. Uh, anyway, it was just a, a rush. So I wanted to come back. I wanted to get here early. I wanted to try sunrise instead of sunset. In fact, this is known as a sunset location, as you would might expect. But what's nice is that during the winter, the sun is rising further to the south. And so you, I had a hunch we might get some nice light. And we did get some, not spectacular, but certainly some pleasant light. Anyway, so I wanted to come back and do this ride. I packed up last night. I left early, got here a half hour before sunrise. Uh, was here plenty of time. I was the first photographer here. And what I did was I experimented with lots of different things, uh, lots of different combinations. I moved my tripod around. I moved my camera up and down. I did some wide angle. I did some telephoto. I did some long exposure. I did some fast shutter speed, trying to capture the waves when the light was, was more intense. Just experimented with a lot of different things. I just wanted to get out and um, try this location again. I might come back here for sunset. I'm not sure, but it's starting to get busy. It's starting to get busy. Not only is it a holiday, but I think a lot of folks are coming out here to do some whale watching because I see folks out with binoculars and it is that time of year. So anyway, I'm going to stick around Cannon Beach area and try to find some more photographs, even though it is, you know, the, the light is, I mean, it's not harsh because it's winter in Oregon, but uh, we have some pretty intense light right now. Certain, certainly nothing soft. Uh, but I'm thinking about sticking around and seeing if I can make any more photographs. And I thought I'd make a video about it. And um, I hope you're interested in, in coming with me. I was not able to kind of take you through my composition there at, uh, at the viewpoint because pretty soon there were a lot of photographers down there. Uh, so hopefully I will be able to do that more as the, as the day goes on. So that's the plan for today. I hope you come along with me. Get some nice views of the Oregon coast. Tillamook Light. 
Lighthouse. Sometimes called Terrible Tilly, the lighthouse was decommissioned in 1957. It's been left to the elements and taken over by sea lions. The best view of Tilly isn't from the main viewpoint, but down a side trail. Later in the morning, I went to another beach at Ecola State Park. It's called Indian Beach. The light was poor almost everywhere, and I'll get to that in a moment. But I did take a couple more photographs. I had my 100 to 400 lens on the camera and mostly I'd been facing north and out to sea but then I turned south and I kind of gasped there were these shafts of light bursting down the cliffside through the trees and the mist and they cast everything in this golden glow and there was a lone fisherman working the shallow water I got two compositions here they're very similar the first one is my favorite except as you'll see, I cut the tree off in the top right-hand corner. And now here's the second one. This one has the full tree, but I prefer the stance of the fisherman in the first one. Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. I also converted this one to black and white, but my wife wasn't impressed at all. She never really seems to like my black and white photos. Which do you prefer, though, the, the gold or the black and white version? So my supposedly waterproof shoes got completely soaked. And so from here, I squelched back up the road to a waterfall I had seen. All right, so I'm still here at Ecola State Park. I was on my way to another beach, Indian Beach. And on the road on the way here, I saw a waterfall. I have not been able to figure out how to get lower and so I've been trying to find a composition up here. I parked my car and then walked back up. So I'll show you what the waterfall looks like. So it's a little bit of a messy scene because we have multiple fallen trees. I just love how green it is. I like the moss. I like all the ferns. But this is where I wanted to be. This. This is where I was hoping to get to, is down there. But I was not able to find a way down there that looked safe. So I've been trying to find compositions from up higher. And right in front of me, actually, I'll turn you around again. I'll show you. You can see that right in front of you, right at my feet, there's this fern. And I've been trying to use that fern as a foreground. Uh, I think with mixed success. I'll see when we get back home. But I'm not sure that that fern is doing me any favors. And so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to move over here to the left safely and try to get a shot from there. I don't love my perch right here. Um, I feel pretty safe where I am, but I have to get back up and I don't know, I'm afraid of heights. So I just don't love where I am, but I'm gonna try to find a composition that does not include these ferns. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'll be able to kind of walk you through my decision-making process because I don't know how the tripod's gonna work. So I guess at this point, I'll just say that fern or no fern, I will put up on the screen right now my favorite shot from this location.
so recently I got these really nice waterproof boots from Ultra, my favorite brand of shoes. And the waterproof thing is fantastic. The downside of that is that when you get water inside your shoe, as I have done, uh, the water doesn't go anywhere. I was walking along the beach and stepped in water that was too deep and it went over the top of my shoes. And I think it's just like pooling around in there. So I'm now gonna take off my shoes and socks, which are drenched. I didn't wear my waterproof socks. I'm gonna take off my socks and hope that they dry before the trip is over. Otherwise, it'll be quite chilly. Oh. Ready? I'm just gonna do the other sock, but I don't wanna gross out these kids that just pulled up. You know, to be honest, for all the times I've been here, I've never gotten a photograph of Haystack Rock that I'm really happy with. I, I think if I'm going to get a, a great shot, I think I need to do my planning specifically around Haystack Rock because I need to be here at a time where there won't be as, as many people. It's just so busy around the rock, people climbing all over it, everyone taking pictures, which is totally fine, obviously, it's totally great. So what I did today was I focused on the needles, which you can see right here. Uh, not sure I got any great shots of that, but I hadn't worked that as a subject before. And so that's what I wanted to do. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for me for the day. A little bit of a hectic video, probably didn't get enough B-roll. Really wasn't much of a story. Uh, what you didn't see was that I took a nap in my car for about an hour this afternoon because I was uh, just really tired from getting up, getting on the road so early this morning. But uh, anyway, it was just a great day to be out. Uh, couldn't have asked for better weather here on the Oregon coast. So I'll leave my camera out, maybe take some shots on the way back to the car. But I think that's going to wrap it up on the video side. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day. I said I was going to keep my camera out while I walked back to the car? Well, it's a good thing because with 12 minutes left until sunset, the sky absolutely lit up. Unfortunately though, because I had moved away from Haystack Rock and the Needles, the only thing I had to point my camera at was the waves themselves. So let this be a lesson to future me. Stay all the way to sunset, and probably a little after too. Finally, with seven minutes until official sunset, I turned back toward the needles and took this one last photograph.